You're welcome back. Let's do some business. And there is a new policy for yam farmers known as the Yam Sector Development Strategy for Ghana. The Ministry of Food and Agriculture and the Ministry of Trade and Industry are the public authorities backing this policy direction to transform the yam industry. The Yam Strategy Implementation Committee, together with the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, will work with the private sector value chain actors. And and development partners to explore synergies and adopt collaborative systems to achieve the objectives of the strategy. The YAM sector strategy is a bottom-up policy process that started in 2012 to ensure national ownership and effective leadership. A private public platform was created to help in building partnerships and articulating support for implementation. This platform includes approximately 200 stakeholders from the private sector representing all stages of the industry as well as financial institutions, research centers, academia and key ministries such as trade, agriculture, finance and women and children and in the studio we have two gentlemen two gentlemen to throw more light um, on the issue good afternoon gentlemen good afternoon. let me start with you how can farmers and exporters take advantage of the strategy well the most important thing is that the strategy is bringing together farmers and exporters uh, a, a relationship which has not been there in the past uh, mainly because um, exporters bought their yams from markets and not directly from the farm gate. But this time around, the exporters want to buy the yams from the farm gate. And in doing that, they will also be given the specifications that are, and standards that are needed by the importing countries. Let us look at value addition. What are you doing in this regard? Value addition, um, there's so many things that can be done with yam. Um, yam can be turned into uh, uh, ice cream. Yam can be turned into flour that can be used with wheat to produce a composite bread. Uh, yam can be turned into wine. And yam can be turned into pasta. So these are things that we are looking at uh, to produce in order to export. In addition to the fresh yams. All right, let me find out for me. Are you looking at the small-scale farmer, the, the already established ones? Who are you all looking at? All of them. Right, so I, what specifically are you going to do for that? Are you going to give them incentives? Okay. Basically, the farmer needs money when it's the beginning of the planting season. Once that money is not found, they are forced to plant other crops but yam. And so we're putting in place a credit scheme that the farmer can take advantage of to be able to find the right inputs at the beginning of the farming season. And these inputs are very simple things. They just need the yam seeds, they need some labor to help raise amounts or ridge for them to be able to plant. They need a bit of money to be able to buy the necessary fertilizers and so on to take care of the weeds on the farm and that's it. I, I would want to find out from you, what are some of the challenges facing exporters in, in exporting yam, for instance? I, I know that it's come with lots of challenges. Yes, uh, there are a number of challenges. For example, that um, you have no control over the yams that you are exporting. And there have been so many times that yams have been exported and the importer has rung back to say that all your yams are bad simply because um, the, the pr protocols, handling protocols are not good enough and uh, one does not, unlike other uh, countries where, like potato, potato, you know where potato is grown, you know, and then you know that um, uh, this potato is of certain quality, but it is not so uh, with the yam. Um, the yams are aggregated from so many small farms and then we buy an export and that is not good enough. Let, I would want you to throw more light on the value addition. What yeah. specifically are you doing? How are you f helping the farmers? How are you helping them with inputs and all? Okay, by way of support to the farmers, it's actually in the area of getting them what they need to be able to plant and then how well they can cut what they harvest from the farms 
into the centers where they are sold or where they are processed. By way of processing, the farmers are not being targeted directly. We are actually targeting the traders, the exporters like Mr. Taylor here, who are able to bring the produce from the farms into the markets and also get them ready for the export markets. And so we are seeking to create avenues where they can borrow from a fund and then put in place the needed equipment or the needed technology so they are able to transform the yam into the pasta, the flour, bread and so on that he mentioned and then be able to export them or be able to feed the local markets and supermarkets with them. We also, by way of processing, are targeting industry. And so we have actually selected certain districts in this country where we are going to resource farmers to be able to produce particular types of yam in quantities that can give us the masses we need. And then that will be processed into flour to feed industries like pharmaceuticals. And then we will have them at the same time prepare what they know the external market is demanding. So if it is pasta, okay, we will locate in these districts certain factories that will be able to turn the yam into the pasta and have it ready to go, and then it will be exported. Well, let us look at the quantities again. Are you looking at commercializing? Are you looking at, you know, putting the farmers together, or you're looking at specific farms? Well, we, we, one of the objectives is to do commercial farming. But that is not to throw uh, away the small scale yam farm. So what you want to do is to have uh, uh, art grower schemes. Uh, you have uh, a demonstration farm, like Grotio has set up, for example, a demonstration farm uh, in Techman. You want to set up also more demonstration farms in the yam growing districts. And then you have art growers who grow yam specifically for the yam market and specifically for processing. So, for example, uh, uh, we have what you call the mini set. Yam, uh, that is what a, a new direction we want to go. As of now, the yams are being sent and being sold in corner shops in, in, in the UK and the US. We want to be able to go into the supermarkets. And to go to the supermarkets, you need yams that are of a special size. Absolutely. That, that was taking me to my next yes, question. Yes, what yes. kind of yams are you looking at? You know, are they supposed to meet any specifications? Yes. Yes. The yams, the yams that we are looking for must be the, not these big yams that you see now, but for the supermarkets, you need yams that are slightly bigger than the uh, potatoes, you know, or just like uh, sweet potatoes, you know, big sweet potatoes. And these yams must conform to certain standards. They must have uh, good agricultural practices. They must have a, a trace back and trace forward uh, uh, documentation, what we call traceability. So you have this, then you can have a new channel of distribution in the uh, importing countries. All right, finally, le let me ask you, in terms of the value addition, yeah. are you considering um, domestic inputs as well, as in um, adding value to the yams that are produced locally, or you're just looking at the exports? No, we're not looking only at the exports. Certainly, we want to be able to reduce the losses. And in Ghana, we have seen that people consume fufu made of yam flour. Okay? We know that in, in a place like Nigeria, Lots of people consume bread made of yam flour. Over here, if we brought it in here, it will sell. It's just not available. I'm sure if you found yam flour tomorrow morning on the breakfast table, you still want to eat it. Absolutely. And so um, we just are targeting the local market for processed yam and the export market as well. All right, so invariably you're looking at value addition and then you're looking at how we can increase our exports. Yes, and it's also not just for food. As I mentioned, we know that there's a big demand for derivatives of yam for industrial purposes. Okay, in Turkey, for instance, we have spoken to entities that say that, look, whatever quantity of yam flour that you can produce of a certain specified quality, we're ready to buy it today. And yet right. we are not ready for it. So we need to work at taking these things and, and, and being able to benefit from them. All right. Thank you very much for speaking to us. While we're taking a quick commercial break, we'll return shortly with sports. Do stay.